Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom gradients. Firstly, you'll want to get your gradient tool, which is found beneath the paint bucket. So, on your toolbar, you will go down to the paint bucket or the flood fill tool, right click, and choose gradient. Now we'll go up to the options bar and click on the gradient tool, and here you'll see the default gradients. To create a custom gradient, it's probably easier to start with a gradient that's similar to what you want to work with, unless you're going to do something that's very specialized, then you'll probably want to start from scratch. Okay, now here's how to operate your gradient tool. Firstly, we'll click on the first one. Now that is black and white and it's governed by the foreground to background palette as you can see here, foreground and background. This little button here is your opacity stop. So you can see here that the opacity is set to 100%. You can click here on this arrow and you can see as I slide down the opacity of the gradient goes lower and lower until it's not visible at all. And then you have the same thing here at the end. Now because we're using our foreground and background you can see here we've gone from black to white. Now just a second I'm going to show you how this would look if you had chosen some custom colors. Say you want it to go from here to here. And I say OK. And now you can see that the custom gradient colors have changed from my foreground and my background colors. And if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and apply that. And I'd start at one end going linear. So I'm going to go from one end to the other end, just draw a straight line. And there you have it a nice gradient. Or I could go from top to bottom and you can see once again I have a gradient that match my foreground and background colors. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and incorporate all of these colors here into my gradient and so to do that here's what we'll do. You go back to your gradients I'm going to stay with the foreground background but I'm going to alter it so that I can incorporate all the colors into the gradient so the first thing you want to do is add more stops. First we'll start with the color stops. Now when you're using foreground background you can see that you have the little checks as if it were a transparent background document. But once we start changing those you're going to lose the little checks and you'll see your color here. So firstly I'm going to add, let's see I have eight colors here so I'm going to add eight stops. and you want to space them out pretty much as evenly as possible. Now these are the opacity stops and I want each stop to be at 100 percent so I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that they are all at 100 percent and you can see that they are. When you're double checking you just want to make sure you go here you can see the location is changing that's at 88 percent, 75 percent, 59 percent and you can see that they're all at 100. If I wanted to I could lower the opacity and you can see now that that goes faded down a little bit. And now we're going to add our color stops. So you want your color stops to line up with the opacity stops So you just want to click right below the opacity stop. And now as you can see they all turn this turquoise blue color and that's because it is still set as my foreground color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and begin changing the colors. So I'll click here starting with my first stop 
and I'm going to change the color to black or the color that's on the palette here and then I'm just going to go ahead and go down the line and continue clicking the different colors and there you have it you've created a gradient and it incorporates all the different colors that are found in the palette here so you can alter this a little bit or a lot depending on how you feel you can slide your color stops over the further to the right that you slide them the smoother your gradient will be and the further to the left that you slide them you're going to begin to create hard stops as you can see here so if you want a, a really smooth gradient you want to go ahead and just slide it to the right as much as possible and to save your gradient you just click on new and there you have it so you click OK and then you can go here and go from right to left or top to bottom whatever you choose and you can see your gradient and how it's applied and if you didn't like that you wanted to touch it up a bit you just click on your gradient and let's say you want to remove some of the stops because mm, it's just a little too much let's say we're gonna go here and delete this black you just click on delete and then it's gone you can slide this to a new position and let's say we're going to remove this color as well just click on the stops and then click on delete and then you can slide your sliders to a new position I'm gonna remove this one as well okay that looks pretty good and then I'm going to save this one again as well so I just click on new now in order to save these for another time you're gonna to have to save these gradients if you want to have just your custom gradients that you created you'd need to go individually and delete all of these gradients here and just hit delete 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 etc etc <laughs> until you have removed them all and now you're going to have to save it so you click on save and name your gradient to whatever you like um, let's say new and hit save and then okay and now I'm going to use that newly created gradient and there you have it so that's how you create your own custom gradients using Photoshop you want to play around with this and you'll find that you'll be able to create some really neat effects using gradients and I'm going to show you one of those effects in my next tutorial thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time